917 on your Saturday morning, giving you a live look outside over the city. Lots of cloud cover out there and the humidity is back. It's one of those days you can really feel it in your hair. Mm -hmm. I feel like. Oh, yes, definitely. Yes, when it takes twice as long to blow dry your hair, you know it's really humid out mm -hmm. there, Jackie. <laughs> or also when you have to use extra hairspray in order for it to stay in place. That's when you also know that it is quite sticky out there. We're noticing that as we kick off our Saturday morning. Also tracking some cloud cover, although we're starting to finally notice some breaks in that cloud cover, especially around Boston. So some improving conditions there, but that is allowing those temperatures to warm up right now. Coming in at 76 in Boston, 75 right now in Plymouth, 74 down towards New Bedford, 71 for Fitchburg, 70 in Worcester. Now we're also tracking those winds. At least we do have a breeze, although it is a warm and muggy start. That breeze at least moving some of that sticky air around that breeze right now between five and closer to 15 miles per hour, mainly out of the south southwest. And as I mentioned before, we're talking about dew points and also humidity. So you certainly feel that stickiness to the air when we're talking about dew points, upper 60s to even low 70s. South Coast Cape and the islands feeling quite tropical out there with dew points into the low 70s. And those dew points will be sticking around today, tomorrow and even the next couple of days along with the heat as well. But the last several days, we're talking from Wednesday through yesterday, we were into the 70s, which was below normal for this time of the year. We're back into the 80s today, so likely above normal. And then looking ahead towards, say, Sunday and all the way through the end of the month of June, we're tracking some more 90s in that forecast. And that will likely be our second heat wave of June 2021. The last time we saw two separate heat waves in June was back in 1941. So it's very rare. And we're tracking that heat building in as early as tomorrow, back in the low 90s. Mid 90s Monday and Tuesday. That will be the peak of the heat and the humidity. And not only that, the heat index values will be nearing 100 degrees Monday afternoon as well as Tuesday afternoon. So if you're working outdoors, make sure to take plenty of water breaks or if you're spending any extended period of time outdoors Monday and Tuesday. 94 on Wednesday and that heat index value will be around 98 degrees that day. And when we're talking about the most number of 90 degree days in June so far, we're just at six, but we'll likely be adding four days to that number. So we'll likely be close to that 11 days step back in 1976. So we'll keep a close eye on those numbers over the next several days. This weekend, yes, we're tracking highs today. Mid 80s will be humid out there. Still humid tomorrow with that gusty breeze still sticking around. Low 90s we get towards tomorrow afternoon, considering we'll see some more sunshine developing through the afternoon tomorrow. If you're heading to Fenway later on this evening, first pitch 715, temperatures around 80. But tomorrow, since it's an afternoon game, temperatures will be nearing 90 degrees. Will be hot and humid out there by about first pitch 89 degrees. Breezy and humid the next several days. The reason why we are tracking all of that heat and humidity, we have that high pressure off the coastline that's allowing for that heat and humidity to really build in from the south southeast with that wind direction that low off towards our north and rains off towards our north. So we're still tracking dry conditions the next several days at that heat and humidity kind of sits over our area and we're tracking those 90s Sunday all the way through Wednesday. So that's our heat wave there. Likely cooling off just a bit on Thursday, upper 80s, leaving a little bit more cool as we get towards Friday with high temperatures, low 80s.